Hi, I'm Michael. I am a TESOL certified native English teacher and a certified IELTS exam specialist. Let's talk about the IELTS speaking portion today. IELTS speaking is divided into three sections. Task one questions are fairly straightforward. They are usually personal questions about you, your life, your interests. Generally, task one questions will be pretty easy. So I recommend using that time to relax, make yourself become comfortable speaking in English, and get your brain thinking in English mode. Task one questions will be about familiar topics such as work, school, your family, music, and things like that. You shouldn't have to think too much about your answers. They should be things you know fairly well. Examples of task one questions include things like, are you good at art? What is your daily routine like? Tell me about your hometown. Do you often go out with friends in the evening? And so on. Don't sweat it. Task one should be pretty easy for you. Task two questions require some more thought. In task two, the student will be given a question card with a prompt and will have one minute to think and prepare his or her answer. This part of the IELTS speaking test requires you to develop an idea and express it using natural sounding grammar and vocabulary. A typical task two question might look something like this. Describe a letter that you have written to somebody. Be sure to say, who did you send the letter to? Why did you send the letter? What was the content of the letter? And why you chose to send a letter rather than a text or an email. Notice with the task two prompt card, there are actually several parts to this question. You will be graded on how thoroughly and completely you answer. So be sure to answer all parts of the question. You will need to answer this question between one and two minutes. And finally, task three of the IELTS speaking exam consists of a series of back and forth questions with the examiner. The question list for the task three questions will be related to task two. In this case, our task three questions will most likely be related to letters, communication, and writing. This part will take between four to five minutes, but is usually the most nerve wracking and stressful for students, as you will have to try to answer complex and abstract questions without the chance to think or prepare for them. Unlike in task two, you will not have a minute to prepare. Instead, you'll need to try to answer on the spot. Some related task three speaking questions might look like these. Why do you think some people enjoy writing letters to others? Is it common to send thank you notes or handwritten letters in your country? Do you think that the rise of the internet has made communication less personal? And so on. Notice that these questions are generally more abstract and will require more critical thinking than either task one or task two. If you're feeling nervous about this, don't worry. The most important thing to remember is that you will not be graded on what you say, but rather on how you say it. That is to say, there's no right or wrong answer and you won't lose points for saying any incorrect fact or unpopular opinion. Just make sure that you're using complex grammar, strong vocabulary, and are speaking clearly and confidently without too many filler words, such as uh or um. We are going to be taking a look at more specific IELTS speaking tips in a future video, so please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more. Coming soon, we will be looking specifically at the speaking band scores to see what it takes to make a band seven, eight, or even nine on the IELTS speaking portion. We will also be looking more in depth at IELTS reading, listening, writing, as well as the TOEFL, so stay tuned for that. Remember, the best way to improve your English and develop fluency is through practice. Practice makes perfect. You can join a free online English conversation practice session hosted by me every single weekend on langclub.live. It is a ton of fun and a great way to practice English, and it's totally free. I hope to see you there. Check the link in the description of this video or go to langclub.live for more information.